Hello and welcome to another Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be learning how you can go about changing the background of a slide. In several different presentations you would have noticed that the slide has a background and that's all the slide has to offer and there's nothing more nothing less to the slide. Well it is a tedious job to create slides after slides with a different background where you have to stretch the picture to fit the slide background. Rather, there is an easier approach that you can take to give a picture uh, or set a picture as a slide's background. The picture could be stored locally in your computer. The picture could be out there from the Microsoft's Clipart Studio online or installed with your Microsoft PowerPoint Word, which are Office tools that you have. So now let's learn how you go about doing that so that your presentations look cool and you do not really have to spend that much time dragging them because a lot of time when you stretch the pictures you distort the pictures so let's click on the design tab to start this and if you notice the far right corner there is a background styles okay if you decide to give it a solid background color now this is where you have to be a little careful why you need to be careful? Let's say if I am uh, liking it to be of a black background color, okay? And if I click on it by mistake, you're gonna notice in the thumbnail, all my slides get to have a black background. I really didn't want that to happen, so I'm undoing the change. Rather, I only want this particular slide to have a background color of black. So I click in background styles again. Now, instead of left clicking, you right click, okay? After you right click, you click apply to selected slides because the default is applied to all slides if you have multiple slides selected all of them will going to turn to this background so when I click on it then notice in the thumbnail only the last slide that was the selected slide get to have this background color no other slide get to have this background color so now I can go back in the background styles and let's say I want to reset the slide background so I click reset slide background goes back to normal if I would like to bring in a picture instead of a solid color I click on the background styles again but this time I go under format backgrounds so I click in format background and I have several different options to pick from I'm gonna choose picture or texture fill okay here I go picture or texture fill by default it goes with the default texture fill which is in the texture okay this was the first one went in there by default however if I want to change I can click and change the fill with a texture okay so I could be changing this texture fill or I, if I do not want to go with a texture I want to bring in a picture that is locally stored on my computer I'm going to be clicking file and I'm going to be picking one of the pictures that's stored locally on my computer. So if I want the lighthouse to be my, my background, I double click on it. And voila, here it is. The lighthouse becomes the background for my slide. If I, if I want to bring in a picture from clip art, then I can click the clip art button that opens up this clip art dialog box. This clip art on the side doesn't roll anymore. So I can close it even. If I close this, I can close that. But let me bring it again. So clip art. Okay, here's the clip art and let me try to search for something let's say I want to search for something related to nature so I click and then it's searching it's searching and then it comes up with certain results pertaining to nature okay so whichever one I want to go with I can pretty much select that so let's say if I want to go with this one I click on this one and I click OK and notice that becomes my background okay if I really want to change it or if I want to make any changes to it I can always do that if you notice down here one two three four you have four options which only get to appear if you're working with a background picture so I can click on picture corrections and I can say okay if I want to sharpen up this picture or if I want to soften up this picture I can control the sharpness and softness I can control the brightness I can control the contrast all of these different options can be controlled right from here okay however one you however you want to work with your picture if you reset it resets to the default if I click on picture color that lets me control the saturation of the picture so I can actually make it very very bright as you can see it's very bright right now okay or I can change the picture tone and that basically allows me to work with a tone of a picture 
okay? Then I can be going under recoloring, and I can actually recolor a picture and make it appear as if the picture was taken back in the 1970s. Sophia effect, or maybe 60s, or I can make it grayscale, okay? Go even further back to 50s or 40s, okay? Or 1920s. You probably may have seen these kind of pictures in the book. World War I stuff, you know? So anyway, so all of these options are available to me as to how about I want to render the background. Then I can also apply artistic effects only if it's a picture, it's a photograph, not with a clip art illustration. So I can go about applying these cool artistic effects right on my pictures. Okay, so there's so much to offer right within Microsoft PowerPoint. If I want to change the picture, I can always go to the Fill option, which I clicked on Fill from Artistic Effect. I went back to Fill. I now click, click on Clip Art again, and let's see if I want to search for Nature again. And here's my longest list of Nature items. They'll be, they'll be popping as soon as it gets done. Loading the list. Okay, so here's the list again. Okay, of several different items to choose from. And I click the sunflower field, click OK. Now that becomes my background. Let me close this if I do not want to apply to all. Okay, I'll close it. Let me scroll down in the thumbnail so that you could also see it appears the same in the thumbnail. Now, sometimes presenters, after giving you a background like this, where it fills the entire background of the slide, would also like to throw in some word art so that you really know what was their point of bringing in this picture. A lot of the time when you're picking up the word art, you got to make sure that the background where the word art is placed is a solid color or sort of kind of close to solid color. Otherwise, you, you cannot have, you are going to be having a hard time showing the text that's readable. So I'm going to be putting in a text here. For example, if I choose this color, okay, now. If I type here something, let's say, uh, sunflower field, okay, and I move it up here in the corner, okay, it appears quite nice because I have a darker background so the lighter color shows up. On the contrary, if I go with, let's say, all blue, it's not very readable because I have blue in the background, I have blue in the foreground. So always try to choose your colors which are a bit more readable. So here you go, you can add a word art right within on the background. This is background, you can't really drag it around, it's not a picture, it's now part of the background. And this is how you can create presentations where each slide has its own background and you can be going into gradient. Now let me insert another slide real quick to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go new slide blank. So this is my ninth slide. I'm going to be going back in the design tab and going under background styles and clicking format background. Same place where I went last time. This time instead of choosing picture, picture or texture fill, I'll choose gradient fill. What is gradient? Gradient means more than one colors blend. That's called gradient. Now notice it's starting out with blue and blending into light blue and finally going into white. I say, okay, I really don't want it to be going blue to light blue. I want blue, so I click on this middle tab, okay? These are all gradient tabs. I click on the middle tab and I can now get to change the color. Voila, so I click here and I say, okay, I really want it to get darker. Oh, wow, so now you see what a great change. It goes from light to dark to light. Next, okay, I want this darkness to be going up starting earlier, or I want this darkness to start later. See how you can control the look and feel of where you want the color to start. If you want to change the color, you can say, well, I want this to be grayish versus blackish. Or if I want to change it to a little bit more uh, brighter color, I can go about doing that. Okay, what about if I want to add more than three colors? That could also be done. I can click wherever I want to click in this empty area and that adds another color stop for me. And I can say, well, over here, I want it to go blue, um, but I want it to go dark blue. So it starts out light blue, goes dark blue, goes red, and then finally goes white. Okay, so I can add as many colors as I want. I can control the brightness, okay? or however I want to control it. I can go about doing that. Uh, similarly, I can cl 
control the transparency of the slide. So it allows me, as you can see at the top, how it controls the transparency of the slide. So you can go about working with any of these options and play around with these options however you want to play around with them. And that adds different kind of coloring pattern. What else you can do here? You can come over here and you can choose a direction however you want your background to be directed. So right now I'm linear. So linear has eight options for you to pick from. If you don't really like linear, well, we have radial for you to choose from, which is five different options for you to choose from. If you don't like radial, we got rectangular for you to choose from. Five different rectangular patterns for you to choose from. So all of these are different ways that you can go about rendering. If you didn't like your creation, well, you can go under preset colors, and these are some preset options for you to choose from. So if I want to go with a rainbow, here you go. I have a rainbow effect in linear. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rainbow colors. Close it. Here's your rainbow effect. Go ahead and insert a word art over here. And let me call this rainbow effect. Okay. And here I have uh, my rainbow effect. And then I can apply any of the text effects I want to apply to it. And it just basically looks however you want to make it look. Okay. So that's how you're going to be going about changing the background color of your slides in your presentation. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Have a good one.